Hello there, so this is Life of a Contemporary Techno Producer, episode 10 already. And what a day did I have today? Um, I released a new album today uh, under my new techno uh, project uh, called Tumsis, and the album is called Brutalism. And I released it on my label Cold Tear Records. So and so, if you want to check that out, it's available on my label coldtierrecords.bandcamp.com. So this album is uh, and this project Tumsis is really different compared to what I've been doing before. It's much darker, much harder techno. And I wasn't sure if I should release it on my label uh, because I thought that uh, the label fans might not enjoy it as much. And uh, and it's, this is probably the case because uh, I re- it was released uh, like five six hours ago and not a single sale so far via Bandcamp because uh, with my label I have accumulated a fan base of dub techno fans and anything I release uh, different that don't doesn't have uh, dub chords in it is sells uh, sells worse yeah the sales are it sells less than than uh, traditional dub techno music so to speak yeah so but this techno project was inspired by me moving to Vilnius to a bigger city you know the environment changed and my life changed a lot and so I started to spend a lot of time uh, at night in clubs and parties and started to hear a lot more techno music and a lot more variety of techno music also and I also discovered that there is a style of architecture called brutalism it's a style that uh, began in the 20th century and we have a lot of it in Lithuania, but I never thought that this is a style. I thought that this is something that Soviets built. And I thought that this style of architecture is somehow uh, related to the uh, to the Soviet regime. Somehow, not regime, but uh, this uh, communist worldview. But I found out later that these kind of buildings were being built uh, all around the world. But I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but I still feel like there's a connection between this uh, architecture style and the socialism. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. It just seems to me that there's the kind of mind state, the kind of uh, worldview that provokes this kind of... Uh, architecture that that's not much decorated you know it's very uh, sharp straight lines the the you know the dominating uh, material for these buildings is concrete a lot of squares and cubes and it's very uh, straightforward kind of architecture not no messing around it feels very cold and it's always gray because it's made out of concrete but so you might think that it's called brutalism because it's kind of brutal but but the truth is that uh, uh, that brut means uh, concrete I think brut is concrete in French, I think. I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but I think it's in French. 
So yeah, it's and uh, you will see that the cover artwork of the Thompson's album also features uh, some uh, a fragment of a brutalist building. Yep. So since it's a new project, I'll have to think hard about how can I promote it, how can I make people discover it. Because it's really hard nowadays. It's easy for me with uh, Girudwasa's project because it al already has a a relatively big following. But with a new name, it's uh, it's difficult. But you know, I don't care. This is what I want to do, and I'm gonna keep working on it. And next month, I'm gonna release a new album under a different name. Uh, which is 101 it's my electro old school electro project brain dance this is how productive i am i make uh, around 3 albums every year under different names yeah. i just do what i like to do i have no time for Nonsense, so to speak. Yeah, and the, so yeah, it it has been a day that I didn't have a minute to relax, and it's not over yet. Uh, at the, in the evening, I wanna go to to a club, to an event that uh, where I wanna hear one. Uh, live act and maybe if I'm gonna like this live act I'm gonna propose him a uh, to work with my label yeah, but we'll see we'll see how it goes so there's one topic I wanted to talk about it on this episode and it is health and you might think I'm gonna talk about something boring and maybe I am I don't know why do I wanna talk about health it's because uh, I'm talk in this podcast I'm talking about my lifestyle and uh, to a to be able to live the lifestyle that I am living I really have to care about my health because it's very demanding of my health I get uh, sometimes I get tired as I have uh, told you before in the previous episodes then I need some time to recover before I can get back into action again and so to be able to live such a life life I have to think about what I eat to keep my energy level up. You know, I cannot eat uh, something sugary or uh, something that has a lot of uh, a lot of carbs in it. I have to avoid that stuff because it slows me down and it brings my energy down. You know, and uh, I cannot to to live a life that I live I cannot drink alcohol for example because for me I have a lot of opportunities to drink alcohol for free especially when I'm playing playing uh, gigs you know uh, organizers offer you drinks all the time even even fans you know they sometimes want to buy you a drink but I cannot do that because uh First of all, I have to perform. I have to make sure that I will do my best when I perform. And then uh, consumption of alcohol has a long-term negative effects on your health. And it can slow me down and uh, reduce my uh, output, which I don't want to happen. 
you know, I'm not even talking about smoking cigarettes. That's uh, that's uh, counterproductive as well for me. And I have to work out, you know, because uh, working out also helps to uh, to have this energy level uh, up. To helps me to be energetic, and basically working out helps me to be pr- uh, prepared for all the uh, demand physically demanding things uh, that uh, are in my life. So yeah, it's not, you know, drugs, sex, and rock and roll like as if you could imagine. It's actually uh, an opposite of that for me personally. And you know, I prefer to be healthy. That's not only because I have to be healthy. I prefer to feel good and be healthy and have have energy, you know, and if I have energy, then uh, I can do a lot more, and I can have a lot more meaningful life, because if I, di- if I didn't have energy, I would have to rest more and stay at home more, but I would rather be somewhere around people and around music. So that's why I care about my health. And you know, mental health is as important. And to maintain my mental health, there are things that I have to do. One thing, uh, most important thing to have a, a good mental health is to have a good physical health. Because uh, body and mind is not, are not separate things. We sometimes tend to look at our bodies and our psyches as something separate. But it's, I believe it's just one continuous body. There is no separation, uh, in my opinion. And uh, number two, to keep the good mental health is to do your to do what you like to do something productive and to feel that uh what you do is of uh, value and the third thing is to keep good relationships with uh friends and family yeah so that's enough about health i guess i hope i hope i didn't uh bore you with this talk about health you know sometimes uh i meet people i meet uh people that are also making music maybe not as long as i've been making it and who are super en- enthusiastic about it you know and they want to talk about it with me which i don't mind i like talk to talk to people but what i don't want to do is to talk about, let's say, Ableton for a whole hour. Um, I just find such conversations a little bit boring. Because uh, when you talk about Ableton, you or, or just music gear, or just music technology in general, you're not really talking about creativity, you know? You're just talking about your tools that you use all the time. And I don't find it particularly particularly inter- interesting uh, to talk about something as, as some tool that I use every day for a whole hour. You know, if, uh, let's say if you are a carpenter and you use a hammer every day, then I don't think you want to talk about the hammers. You have I don't think you want to have long conversations about hammers you know what I mean and so it's the same for me with uh, music uh, gear there are so many interesting things to talk about and uh, talking about Ableton and Reason and uh, 
and synthesizers and uh, FL Studio, all of that. It's sometimes sort of boring to me. And that's not, you know, these things are not creativity. These things are tools. They just, they are just things. But some people are more, you know, they are more interested in the music technology than the result of it. To some, this electronic music hobby is about technology more than it is about creativity and or writing music or expressing yourself. So maybe I'm just a uh, wrong person to talk about to uh, to talk about it. Yeah. That's all for today, I guess, and um, see you on the next episode.